Freight trains continue to rumble by Atlanta's Hulsey Yard, just like they have for decades. CSX intermodal trains like this one used to stop here, but in May 2019, the yard was cleared out. A solitary container handler is one of the only clues left of this property's former life. Hulsey Yard sat empty for nearly a year, with many speculating that the railroad was ready to sell. But in April 2020, the yard was reactivated. Hundreds of containers stacked several stories high have been replaced by lines of covered hoppers. This is what CSX calls a transflow facility. These rail cars carry dry goods, which are transferred to trucks that take them to industries that aren't connected to the railroad. CSX already has a facility like this about eight miles away here at Howell Yard in Northwest Atlanta. So where did all of Halsey's intermodal traffic go? It went here, a sprawling facility about 20 miles south in Fairburn, Georgia. It features modern cranes and tracks that are 7,000 feet long. Perhaps Halsey's location was just a little bit too congested for all the tractor trailer traffic, but there's no doubt it's a prime piece of real estate. It's right next to downtown Atlanta and it intersects the city's popular Beltline, where train tracks have been replaced with a multi-use trail. Residents who live around the yard had high hopes for the space when CSX emptied out the intermodal traffic. In October 2019, they released this neighborhood master plan that calls for green space, affordable housing, and transit connections. As the yard sat empty and it seemed like a sale was imminent, local politicians on the Atlanta City Council began to weigh in, drafting a resolution that sent a clear message to the railroad. The City of Atlanta strongly urges CSX to consider the future needs of the City of Atlanta, the Atlanta Beltline, and the surrounding community as they begin the process for the sale of Halsey Yard. That resolution was adopted at the beginning of March 2020. One month later, Halsey Yard was reactivated. From the air, it looks like much of the yard is still unused. But according to an article published by Curbed Atlanta, CSX says it still has no plans to sell. However, that's not the case on the other side of town. CSX is looking for buyers for the former Tilford Yard. It's been empty since 2018, and as of May 2020, it still is. Back at Halsey, there's still a lot to take in. Its industrial past runs deep, with this former mill dominating the skyline. Meanwhile, along the yard's southern perimeter, the street art is hard to miss. And of course, Atlanta's famous Crog Street Tunnel alive with cars, pedestrians, and plenty of graffiti. Regardless of what the future holds, this place is still packed with Atlanta culture and history. Hopefully, that's not lost on the railroad or the people who pass through and occupy this diverse area.